Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about AEM sites. We'll see how to create and maintain your content in AEM. Please keep in mind before create your websites, assuming your project has been already deployed and all the dependencies already available in AEM. So if you see left side, your all your websites are available here. AEM comes with a demo website called VRetail. There is one more website available called Weekend Site W K and D. You can get that code from the GitHub build and deploy here. The packages are also available. You can download and deploy. But as of now, this VRetail site demo site is enough to explain this content or website structure. Please keep in mind website structure for website structure. There is no hard rule written. It all depends on your need and all depend your client requirement. But Adobe recommend a structure. So I'll talk about that structure, which is recommended by Adobe with the help of this V retail. So if you see the screen, you will find a create button here. You choose this, select this. Okay. And then you can, this option is available to create where you can create. If you open pages, sites, live copy launches language copy and other stuff so pages means to create page site is to create entirely website for a country language copy and live copy these are pretty important term pretty important for your learning and your interview question so we'll see what are those so if you see here websites so this website is created for seven countries usa canada switzerland and italy so this scenario covers when you have a website for multiple countries, multiple countries plus multiple languages. So each country can have more than one website. So if you see here, all the countries means all the languages has different pages. So now you should have a question. I have seven countries site. Do I need to create pages manually every time I need to create? Second question, let's say I create one page. So how I can move that page to all the websites? Obviously you have same kind of content, almost same kind of content for all countries and all the sites, right? Question number three, I see seven countries site, which is fine, but I see one more site called language master. What is this? Okay. And why it is. So let's take example of us. Okay. For the US, I see two websites, one for the English, another one for the Spanish. And if I go to Switzerland, I see the three websites, right? Dutch, France and Italiano. So how you can create those? So first thing you understand here is you create content only once, then you move that content to different website. And this is the beauty of content management system and AEM. So language master is always a blueprint. Okay. If you take blueprint as a layman term means blueprint is something by which you create something else. Okay. So language master is a blueprint using this, you create other websites, but in language master, you don't see any country website. You only see these languages sites, English, Dutch, and the further Italiano. These are called language copies, which I showed you here. Okay language copies. These are called language copies, but this website is not available for any country. This is just a blueprint. So when you create a website for any country, you define what websites I need. Okay. Let's say I create a website for India. I would say what websites I need means I need English or Dutch or something. Let's say I need two websites, right? English and Hindi, which is not available here. So what you will do, you can create one more language copy here for Hindi. What is the benefit, right? Benefit is when you create a site for any particular country, you can refer that site from here. Okay. You do not need to create a website again, right? You let's say in US, there's English, there's a Canada, which is English. So always you are referring this website, right? When you create this country website language site from language master that is called live copy. Okay. I'll show you these options. Okay. So 
in language master these are language copies and when you create a website using these language copies these are called live copies so english here in language master uh, is a language copy when you create site using this inside a country let's say united state english site so now this english site is a live copy of this language copy understood this is a bit of complex thing uh, try to understand if you have any question uh, add your question i'll try to answer now let's say i need to create a website okay for india and i need to create english for now okay for example so what i'll do create site okay and then it will say what is the blueprint okay it will ask for the blueprint i'd say i need a blueprint of v retail okay this is the blueprint means this is the language copy which you see there and it will say what are the sites you need means if you see here what are the initial languages so it will show you five because five language copies are available okay what i need i need a uh, okay so let's say i am saying i need english for now these are already uh, selected so i'll remove those okay i'll remove those french i need english for now only english selected initial it will ask you initial content so whatever the content available in this so i need all okay i say all it's a title let's say india and it say what is the name okay i'm saying i n okay this is the code owner let's say admin for now and it okay live copy and say the rollout configurations for say standard rollout configuration i'll let you know what is this rollout configuration and let's create so this has been created and i say done okay if you come here so you will see another site has been created in for india and it has a website called english english okay now you must understand this site is created from this one this was the blueprint means language master okay and india site means english site is created from this english language copy so this is a language copy which is available inside language master and this english site inside india is a live copy from this language copy okay so now this this way you can create uh, the website now let's say i want hindi as well so what i'll do i'll create a one more language copy here okay language copy from english and i will translate that right now translator is not available with my aem there is a third party available as well so let's say i would create a language copy and i would say all the pages i need okay so pages and you have to choose a source from where you want to create so i want to create a language copy from english okay so i would say here i will come here and say from this site i want to create a language copy this copy now it is done i create all the pages next it will say what is your target language i would say hindi okay because hindi is a common language there so i'll create a site hindi done and if i have any configuration path i don't have these are for the translations so for now let's say i don't have translator available by by default there is a translator available microsoft translator but for now i don't need anything i just need to create a website that's it and structured only do you want to create structured or the content means the translation or something means if anything is related to this language copy means let's say translator now it will copy all so what i would say right now let's say i need only a structure i'm done and it's done so now you will see a one more language copy inside language master okay yeah uh, see hindi it is available and it contain all the pages which are there in english those are obviously not translated because i don't have translation now now there is a one more language copy available if i want to create a live copy now earlier i create a complete website for a country 
I can create only a live copy. Okay. Now in India, I need a one more website using Hindi language. Okay. So I will come here, create this and let's say I need only a live copy and so it says from where you want to create. I would say I need this Hindi website. Okay. I go to language master, choose this. Okay. From select a destination where you want to create. I want to create here. Choose this next title and name title. I would say Hindi. Okay. And for say, let's say HI rollout configuration. I would say standard for now and create. So now you will see my India site has two websites, right? Hindi and English. It's created. Okay. Obviously the translation using translators, you can translate this content automatically. Now you should have a question. If I create one page and I want that page to entire all the countries, how you will be doing it. Okay. The simple thing is that that rollout thing comes into a picture. You can move that content for now. Let's understand only this thing. You create page inside this language master and you move that page to other countries sites. Okay. So let me create a page here inside English and let's say test. This is the page option for now. I need this template. We'll talk about this template and component. Let's say test page. All right. And create done. So if I want to move this page, so what I'll do, select this page, okay, either add it, add it by editing, you will open this page, let's say add it and or you can open the page properties called page properties, okay, these properties called page properties. So now I have opened this page. So page is open. You can go to the page properties from here as well. Go to the page properties. Okay. Either go to the page properties or there's an option available called rollout. When you click on this rollout page, so you will see option where these being are rolled out. Okay. So you see it is rolling out to Canada, INEN, INEN or USEN. These are the live, cop uh, live copies of this language copy, right? So let's say done and say okay right so this has been rolled out you have to take care of one thing right sometimes you don't see these options right so your rollout configuration should be correctly chosen okay i'll explain that in separate tutorials right you remember i showed you right selecting rollout configuration so now see let's see this is in language master so now this page should be okay should be in my en india en so this has been came now I did not create that. Okay. And same way it should have already come in United States EN only EN because I created this inside English and I rolled out from English. So this from this, these English sites are the live copies. Okay. So that way you can move pages from uh, just language master means your blueprint to your other sites. So this was this was the how you could create content. There's a no hard route written again. I would say it all depend on your needs, but to take advantage of this language copy, live copies, uh, rollout thing, you have to create this kind of structure. If you have multi language and multinational site. Okay. So if you have any question, please add your comment. Thank you.